Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at the X Radar Deluxe Field Chronograph today. If you ever watch any of the videos outside of me shooting, I use a small handheld version of this chronograph right here, and it is extremely reliable and consistent. Now this version right here is for field operators or people who are going through a lot of guns or having people cycle through a lot of guns. Um, so really field operations. Uh, I mean, you could get one and have it at your house if you do a lot of work on guns or you have a lot of equipment and people come over and play on your own, whatever. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with it. But um, this is really designed as a robust system for heavy traffic coming through. So it will do feet per second and it will do balls per second. It has little clippy doos on the bottom right here. Right, maybe you can see them better this way. Just alligator clips, you're gonna clip it on there. The instruction manual says a six volt battery. Um, I've seen chronographs hooked up to nine volt batteries before. I would stick with the instructions though and pick up a six volt battery. Those are those big like square lantern flashlight ones and hook it up that way. The alligator clips just clip onto the positive and negative side of the spring terminal on there and it will turn on. There's a power button underneath right down here. Beep, 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 beep. It's not beeping, that's me. Uh, and that will turn it on and let you go. Lay the barrel over the top of it like so and shoot. And it will read velocity. Now it will read, um, I think it's like 150 to 400. Is that what it was? Yeah, 100, and, uh, 100 150. Yeah, 150 to 400 feet per second. So if you're below 150 feet per second, it's not going to work. If you're over 400 feet per second, it will not read properly as well. And it'll error on you and tell you that it doesn't work that way. Um, it also does balls per second between uh, five and 25 balls per second. So if you are shooting in any kind of ramping modes or anything like that, it will read those as well. Uh, from the factory, they come set at 300 feet per second, but it is adjustable. So if you wanna turn your, your limit down to 250 or whatever, you can do that. And then the alarm will chime when that uh, velocity is exceeded right there. Uh, extremely robust, well-built right here. Um, these guys have been making great chronos for a long, long time. And I've, like I said, I've been using one outside for years and years and years, and they've always held up and had no issues. Um, one other thing I did want to tell you guys is it does not work for anything but paintballs. Arrows, bullets, BBs, airsoft, stuff like that, it will not work for those. It can't read that style projectile. It is designed for 68 caliber paintballs. 50 cal, I don't know. I've never tried it with a 50 cal. I'd have to go outside and see if it works with a 50 cal. But it doesn't say anything on the little instruction thing that comes along with it as to whether it works uh, with a 50 cal ball or not. So I'm sure you could call these guys or email them. They've got some information on here and find out for you. Um, I'll have to do some tests on that and see if it does. But um, man, do these kernels work great. They're built to take abuse and they're always right on. So if you've got a heavy traffic area and you need a chrono that's gonna hold up on you, pick one of these up. X Radar um, Field Chronos, Deluxe Field Chrono Station, it's available through the website. Pick one of these up through ansgear.com.